Yo folks, Skruthuk here, September 9, 2011. Ah, we're in a game, it's uh, a minute into the game, missed a little bit of action, uh, but let's get right into this. Uh, this is uh, a game between uh, Rook Rook, is playing Savage Thunder Full Force, and Shatter Peaks Burn Pyro, uh, also in a Full Force fashion. Uh, Rook Rook's currently uh, 20, 26 overall, and Burn Pyro is uh, 7 overall, so... Um, favored here by by ladder is uh, is is definitely a Pyro. Um but we'll see we'll see how this works out. Um, Pyro, uh currently out with uh, Devour, uh, Angel of Chaos, and the uh, Spearman, and uh, Wailing Yeti and uh, uh, Jack Hall Rider here for uh, for Rook Rook. Uh, Rook Rook to the left with the blues. Uh, from Pyro to the right with the reds. Both have their font, their red respective font. Um, let's see a Shrine Scry status. Uh, Rook Rook with a lot, a lot of, a lot more HP here, 86 uh, versus the 65. So uh, a lot less Shrine going on here for uh, for Rook Rook, which is, I guess, smart on this kind of a map. Um, I was thinking from Pyro Scrying a lot because he uh, needs certain ruins. Uh, Jack Owl Rider uh, takes uh, seven magical damage uh, from Angel Chaos. Um, Angel Chaos. Uh, Angel of Chaos. Let's check out that range again on Angel of Chaos. Um, yeah, it's two to two to four with that. Um, nice range attack and uh, some damage now uh, from Club. Just gonna refer uh, to him here as club. And I'll see the rest of the game. Uh, this is a really, really, really tight map. So we see there's only um, only two fonts here, uh, one on each side. It's often uh, very quick games here. Let's see how this goes. Jack High Frost Queen. Uh, Deployed here for Rook Rook. <coughs> Levitate and magic damage in a 6 to 8 fashion. Very nice range. Uh, and Melee's got Majestic. Oh, it's pretty neat. Not quite sure uh, the upgrades here on, on Wailing R. But he does have Hostile uh, Frost. Barrier. I believe that's an upgrade. Alright, Angel of Chaos uh, from Burn Pyro here pulling in uh, the Jack Isle Howl Rider. Uh, getting some damage here from that uh, from that Spearman, getting some damage in from the uh, from the Angel of Chaos, and now of course uh, Club gets another damage in uh, is it 3 HP. Um is uh, poisoned, uh, wearied, and currently distracted. I'm not quite sure uh, what level of poison this currently is. It's uh, definitely here from uh, poison three, so three damage end of turn. This uh, Jekyll Rider is definitely dead. Uh, you can see here um, the Spearman, the Hyena Spearman has poison. Poison rank one uh, gives uh, a basic attack uh, poison three, which does three damage, so that Jack Owl Rider will die at the beginning of its uh, player's turn. It's Rook Rook's turn. There's the three damage, and there's the dead Owl Rider. So nice play here by Burn Pyro. Really, really neat play. Um, I always love seeing things die um, the beginning of your opponent's turn, just by the uh, perfection of the dot damage. I don't know why it, uh, it, it it has some kind of professionality to it. Five damage here uh, onto Club from the Frost Queen. Um, Wailing Yeti just hanging out at 35 HP here at the back. It's a modifier of minus 20 uh, of its uh, of its um, max HP. Uh, Club also down 17 from its max HP is at 39 currently. Uh, Lance Admiral uh, Cyan uh, 
is advancing here just in general. Everything of Burnt Pyro is advancing and everything is in a very clumped up fashion. Usually not a good idea, but I guess he can, he thinks he can afford this uh, against the, uh, the Savage Tundra player. Uh, Jackeye Frost Queen looks like, uh, looks like she might die this turn. Eight damage is poisoned as well. Uh, so five at the beginning of uh, enemy turn, but Club still got his got his yeah, that's dead. That's a dead queen. Overkill. Uh, moving in, uh, going down to zero zero AP for Club just to pick up the orb. Um, now they're spilt out a bit. Uh, I don't think there's an AOE that would hit all of this, other than a uh, five by five AOE here. But we can uh, we can proof this really quick. Uh, never mind, the three or would hit it, would hit everything here. Uh, the two, yeah, you could get everything with a two as well. So I take that back. Yeah, you can always you know here uh, you can always check with a tab. I'm probably going to start using this a lot more just to check uh, myself uh, how things can hit or whatnot. But yeah, you uh, definitely with an area two. You, you get to hit everything here. Alright, Wailing Yeti goes and uh, does this horrific haul. And that was a uh, Frostwing Glaive, of course. Um, the uh, Glaive Bounce, here it is. Uh, hitting quite a few champs. Uh, 30, 38 HP uh, on the Spearman. Spearman's equipped with uh, Everfrost Manacles. Um, Everfrost Manacles, uh, of course, uh, Savage Tundra equip, um, negative equip. Uh, ah, there comes a Starseer. Alright, so Starseer is going to help out here with the range, but Burn Pyro is definitely in a very favorable position. Interesting uh, uh, Mogul Lord in here, uh, the Dirge. Dirge also really nice with his pounce and just in general very very tough unit. All right, interesting. We got uh, we got some impassable terrain put down here. I guess we're focusing on the Wailing Yeti. Wailing Yeti is not going to live a next turn. Uh, there's still eight AP, nine AP, ten AP. Uh, but he decides to, uh, what was used there, Dirge Mogul, I uh, used Throw Axe, so, Throw Axe do his damage, because he's in the back, the Ford still has 3, 3 AP on him, um, and there goes the Spearman dumping his, uh, his double attacks and poisons onto the Frostwing Glaive. Frostwing Glaive, um, also going down, yeah, definitely also going down. Two two HP, beginning of next turn, still poisoned. Um, we'll need some more damage on him to die at end of turn, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Is it? Nah, we we can we can't get a hit on her. Uh, at least not like this. Maybe he has a spell on Petto. No clue. He's spreading out a bit. But uh, Frostwing Glaive's dumbfounded anyway, so not much of a threat at all. Oh, there we go. What was that? Mangled... Mangled... Mangled Totem. And uh, there we go. Uh, Rook Rook leaves the game, and Burt Bur Pyro takes it. Definitely uh, reasonable in this case. Um, Neat short game, nice sweet game, like I told you, this map's very small, so not a lot of posturing, uh, very aggressive play by Burn Pyro, uh, taking that win, uh, he was the favorite player in the first place, but still, I think, uh, I think a neat game, um, shows a lot, we got two full factions here, uh, still, sweet game, thanks for, uh, thanks for sticking around.